What up, everybody? We are just days away from the episode that all James St. Patrick, a.k.a. Ghost fans, have been waiting for, hoping that we get some kind of indication or clue that Ghost is alive, or even better, that he actually returns. This is because of an IG post that Joseph Sikora made several months back, and in the caption it read, Just got done recording Season 2, Episode 5, and all I want to know is if Ghost is dead or alive. This makes us to believe that there will be something that happens this episode that makes Tommy question whether Ghost is actually dead for real. Then there was also the IG Live that Joseph Sakura did when someone asked him if Ghost could return as a hallucination. His reply was, yeah, or an alive character. Then as recently as a couple months ago, Sakura retweeted a lady's post that said she hopes that Ghost returns to force on season two. So with all these clues on social media, what is Sikora trying to tell us? While preparing for this video, I had to ask, how would Ghost even know that Tommy is alive and in Chicago? Then I realized it's been in our faces this whole time, going all the way back to Power Season 6, that Ghost is tracking Tommy. Then there's another clue from the Ghost Season 3 finale that Ghost is watching Kay Egan. Right now, as far as everyone knows, Ghost has been dead for a couple years now, which is perfect for him, out of sight, out of mind. Even Tommy has finished grieving Ghost and has only mentioned him once this season, compared to almost every episode last season. This is because no matter how beloved someone may be, over time, the grieving process slows down and you begin to think of that person less because you are forced to move on with your life. Being out of sight and out of mind is the perfect scenario for Ghost. This allows him to move freely and under the radar. Keep in mind why Breeze gave Ghost his nickname. Bree said the kid had the ability to disappear. You never saw him come and you never saw him leave. So Ghost was easily able to disappear after faking his death to live up to the name Ghost. Then once James St. Patrick was no longer in the news stories and was no longer relevant in people's minds and they began to move on, it was at this time that Ghost could start moving around to check on people from a distance. Ghost and Tommy both fake their deaths. The difference is, Ghost's moves are always calculated. So he's definitely going to be low-key, change his appearance a little bit, and always be discreet. While Tommy, on the other hand, has been in Chicago causing chaos, he hasn't changed anything about his appearance other than wearing the occasional hat or a hoodie from time to time. And he's still driving around in the same blue Mustang. Either though right now he's driving the truck, but he should be getting the Mustang back soon because it's in the shop right now after Lil K shot it up. But we know from the season two trailer, he's going to get it back. And it's going to get shot up again. And Tommy also makes a huge mistake by driving his Mustang to New York. Either though this hasn't happened on the Force timeline yet. While Ghost is most likely keeping tabs on Tariq and Yaz in New York through his estate lawyer, Daniel Warren. Ghost already had everything set in place like a chess player, three moves ahead of everyone. 
Daniel Warren has been keeping tabs on Tariq and Yaz and reporting it back to Ghost. But like I said, now that nobody is thinking about Ghost, he is able to move around from city to city without being noticed and watches people from a distance. Just like we saw Tommy watch Jannard kill little K from a distance. Getting me to how Ghost is keeping tabs on Tommy and Kate. This is through the gift that Ghost gave Tommy at the end of Power Season 6. Tommy's Blue Mustang. Ghost knew no matter what happened that Tommy would always keep that car close. And by hiding a GPS tracking device on the car... He is able to track Tommy's whereabouts at all times. And this is how Ghost knows that Tommy is alive and living in Chicago. Once Tommy went to Chicago and got settled there, Ghost knew this was where Tommy was now residing. So he made a trip to Chicago to check the locations from the GPS that Tommy was at the most. So now Ghost knows where Tommy lives, he knows about Diamond and Gennard, and he also knows about the Flins. And Ghost has been watching Kate through the Ring Doorbell app that he had installed at her house. After Ghost faked his death, he had Ring install their service at Kate's. Kate was told it was paid for out of the James St. Patrick Trust for her protection. So she went ahead and let them install it. But this was how Ghost was going to keep eyes on Kate to make sure she was safe. But now things are no longer going as planned. Kate has not been home for a few weeks and Tommy is no longer driving the blue Mustang. So Ghost is no longer able to keep tabs on everyone like he normally does. So because of this, Ghost thinks that something might have happened to Tommy in Chicago. So he needs to make another trip there to check on him. But Ghost knows where to go to find Tommy from the first time he went to Chicago to check in on him. So with that said, right now would be the perfect time for Ghost to make his return. Even if Tommy only sees him from a distance for a quick second, then Ghost disappears. Almost in the same way Ghost saw Tommy across the street from Truth, then the bus passed and he was gone. Or even better, Ghost could make his return and save Tommy from getting killed by Miguel. Keep in mind all the bosses that Ghost and Tommy have killed together. Miguel might get word that Tommy is hooking up with his sister, Maria. Then Miguel says Tommy Egan is too dangerous to keep alive and has Tommy come meet with him with the intent to kill him. But just like how Brayden saved Tariq at the end of Ghost Season 3, Ghost would come to the rescue and kill Miguel to save Tommy. Keep in mind what Kanan told Ghost in Power Season 5. Tommy always needed someone to take care of him. That was Ghost's job. So Ghost faked his death and is trying to live his life. But he also feels a responsibility to have his brothers back. And if Ghost doesn't return on Episode 5. Could there be some kind of clue or text message. Something that makes Tommy question whether Ghost is actually dead. One thing I do know is that the episode 5 trailer was only like 10 seconds long compared to the normal 30 second trailer. This does tell me that episode 5 will be crazy and that we are in for a surprise. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.